Hey guys, so I just want to show a pretty cool tip uh, using Python and the beautiful soup package. It's pretty easy to use and this is just a small bit of the um, overall package itself. So I definitely recommend checking it out and I'll have that uh, below. Uh, and I'll also have this um, notebook below as well so that you can actually open this and take a look at it. But uh, to kind of talk about this, so here I've just got some links and stuff, and you'll see that when you open this up. up. And below that, I've just imported some packages and whatnot. And then below that, I'm actually calling for his uh, or for Daniel Stein's website. So this isn't BIM specific, but the idea is I'm going to take Daniel Stein's, uh, scrape his website of all the links, and then periodically kind of go through those links um, when I have time to just keep up with. Uh, BIM news essentially so um, that just grabs that and then the cool stuff is if we scroll down here we take it and then it it kind of what it does is it looks through here and then you can see like uh, href equals this link and essentially what we're doing is we're getting those and then the outputs of those um, those uh, hrefs so we have the links here and then from here, I just copy this into a Word document. And I add some checkboxes to it, and I just kind of go through it uh, when I have time. Maybe some articles I haven't seen or some that I just want to reread. And it's just a cool way of, of pulling down data. And you can do this um, on a number of different websites. Some are going to be different. You're going to have to uh, uh, maybe even change some of the way or some of the um, types of based off of the way the website's set up you'll have to look for different you know uh, keys on each uh, thing and it may be broken up differently so you're just gonna have to play around with it and see uh, but this is kind of how it works you just grab it scrape the web and then output links and then I was working through a course and I'll share that as well on LinkedIn learning and um, there's a way to push it to a text file and from what I could see it doesn't come out very uh, nice so I was hoping to actually take this and just push it to a word document using the docs package but I'll do that later on when I actually figure out how to do it but um, hopefully this is something cool you guys like again it's not BIM specific but you could use it for BIM websites maybe to keep up with what's being published every day um, so check it out uh, thanks a lot for watching